Hello, this is Jeff Shiver of People and Processes. Today I want to give you a quick tip, and it's really about a, what is the goal or the definition, if you will, of maintenance planning. When we talk about maintenance planning, it's really to increase craft wrench time by eliminating what I call the avoidable delays that include waiting on or looking for materials or tools hunting the necessary information required to actually perform the work that was intended, or ineffective coordination efforts, for example, between maybe operations and maintenance with regard to emptying a tank and before maintenance begins their work. When we talk about maintenance planning as a whole, I look to the job plan, and items that I believe the job plan should encompass are as follows. What crafts are required? Do we need an operator to do work in advance? And I always see this, people are, for some reason are afraid to use operators like they use technicians, uh, electricians, mechanics. Why can't we list operators? Estimated job duration. Will this job be two hours or two and a half hours or three hours? What kind of materials are required? And I'll mention here that these three things are the basic things required for a good job plan. And what we do is we require, we look for a continuous improvement loop to come back and add the additional items that we might have missed if we just done these three basic things. Let's talk about those additional items. What kind of safety is necessary? Uh, is there a lockout tie out? Do we need to isolate certain valves? What are the task steps and sequence? And, and I'm always looking for precision task steps. Consumables. People say, well this Jeff, this is an extreme. Uh, never sees or rags or, or trash bags as an example but if you're in a mining situation for example and you've got to drive 14 miles from the stock room to the drag line I really want to give those guys everything they need to do the job when they go first without having to drive 28 round, 28 miles round trip to start the job again permit forms confined space uh, hot work standards and specifications again this comes back to the task steps what is the gaps, fits, torques, clearances? Pictures, sketches. What kind of drawings are necessary? Tools. It's really handy if you tell a technician, oh, by the way, before you climb that 100-foot ladder out there uh, and get up on that mezzanine that's four stories up or whatever the case may be, you might want to take a 2-inch impact socket and a 2-inch combination wrench and, you know, what other special tools they might need. Rental equipment. OEM manual cut sheets as an example material pick list I really like this from my materials management guys so that way when they're staging and kitting the parts for me they can actually cross those off to make sure they've got everything bill of materials what if I don't give a guy the gasket then it, maybe I didn't think he needed it when I did the plan well if I give him the bill of materials I don't have to waste time or he doesn't have to waste time trying to go to the stock room and figure out okay what was the stock number or having to go back and find the OEM manual now he's got a bill of materials and oh by the way here's the stock number he can go to the stock room and pick that up and of course we would we would catch that and fix that on the next time the job plan was issued through the continuous improvement loop housekeeping items disposal instructions maybe some type of hazardous waste or something like that that they're disposing Rebuild item instructions. What's required if I've got to redo this pump? Uh, where do I need to take it? Does it need to be cleaned before I take it over there to stay the storeroom for the rebuild process as an example? What kind of coordination is required? I mentioned this earlier with regard to operations and maintenance. Maybe operations has to uh, empty a tank uh, before maintenance does their work. And is there any pre-work required? Uh, same thing. And it could be post-work. It could be... Um, an example, maybe I need to do lab swabs uh, for microbiological issues uh, in the case of a food manufacturing plant after the maintenance work is completed. These are some of the things that I look for with regard to the definition of maintenance planning. And if should you have additional questions, please send me an email at jshiver at peopleandprocesses.com. I'll mention that there are two blogs that are listed here that uh, you can find more tips on. And of course, if you'd love to get education on maintenance planning and scheduling and coaching. We offer that on the People and Processes website under the Education tab. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Have a great day.